if you are organizing an event collecting registrations and participant informations then creating an excel sheet from google forms is the best option for you companies use google forms to collect information about customer issues or support requests this helps in tracking and managing customer inquiries effectively google forms can be also used to create service to gather feedback from customers employees students or any other group so this is jihad rianjim from excel demi and today we'll learn several steps on how to create excel sheet from google form to create a google form at first you need to open the google browser so at first here you'll write down the forms dot google dot sign press the enter button after that click on it choose an account to sign into it write down the password and go for the next now you have entered into the google forms now as we are trying to create a google form so we'll go for the contact information now we have the contact information let's write the description here the description will be personal information use the enter button and after that you'll move on to the name section here you'll enter the name and you need to enter the email here address phone number etc and after that you can also add a question by going to the plus sign suppose you have a question do you like traveling and then you have two options suppose the first option will be yes and then add another option where you need to go for no and it is required so you'll go for the required sign after that you have selected all the google form informations now go for the settings here in the settings you need to change the settings according to your wish here you have got the many options where you can change responses according to your wish suppose you need to get the limit to one response but you need to disable it so just click on it and disable it now let's go for the send option and here you will find send form where you need to go for the send via and here you will find the link let's shorten the link by using the tick on the shorten url copy it down and then give it to the group or person whether from where you want to get the information let's see whether it's working or not so we'll go for the preview and if we go to the preview then let's see whether it's working or not yes it's showing the traveling yes then we have the name suppose we have pam then write down the email at gmail.com go for the address 23 baker street and then we have the phone number and now there is no comment and let's submit it click on the submit button to get the response here like this you can take many responses for other people also after taking responses you will see that you have got the responses here section click on the responses tab and here you will find the summary section now you want to get it as an excel sheet now let's click on link to sheets and select create a new spreadsheet click on create and you will see the new worksheet has opened here in the google sheets named as contact information responses here everything of the responses have been shown correctly in the excel sheet if you want to export data to excel then you'll go for the file tab and then download option and microsoft excel download it and you have got the information here if you click on it then you'll see okay excel is showing us the result okay so that's how we can also create responses here now after linking the google sheet to it then you will see that if you find any kind of more responses then it will directly export it to the google sheet suppose if you go to the preview and add a new response then
click submit and if you go to the google sheets then you will see automatically this zone data has been added here so that's linking for you suppose here in the responses you want to delete an individual response then go for the individual here and if you find the one to six responses go for one to six responses suppose you want to delete the response of ron then just go at the right side here you'll find delete response just click on delete response click on yes to confirm it and then you'll see it has deleted it but if you want to get all the worksheets deleted then go for the right side of the view in worksheets and then delete all responses click ok to delete all the responses here so you have deleted all the responses suppose now you want to unlink that then you will find the view in worksheets and unlink the form if you unlink the form then you will see there is no connection in between these responses with the contact information so there is no change here so that's it for today you can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can join our thriving excel demi community forum where you can post your excel and vba challenges and get solutions from our experts and fellow users thanks for watching our video if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this